anti-tuberculosis drugs. So we have a first line of drugs remembered by the mnemonic RIPE. R stands for rifampicin, I for isoniazid, P for pyrazinamide, and E for ethambutanol. So let's jump directly into rifampicin. We've color-coded rifampicin as orange, and I'll later tell you why. Rifampicin's mechanism of action is it binds a beta subunit of DNA-dependent RNA polymerase. So by doing this, it blocks the conversion of RNA into DNA. So therefore, basically, RNA cannot be converted to DNA in the bacterial cell. The PK of rifampicin is very important. It has a wide distribution in body fluids, serosa organs such as lung parenchyma. It's as effective against mycobacteria and tuberculosis, as well as other gram negatives such as pseudomonosis arginosa. It's a potent CYP inducer with a plasma of life of three to four hours, and has a wide distribution in the CSF and undergoes liver metabolism. Now, coming back to the reason why we had orange for rifampicin, because rifampicin, the first adverse reaction that you should remember is it produces orange fluids, such as in the saliva and in the urine. It's also hepatotoxic, hence why we've got the hepatotoxic symbol here. It causes other symptoms such as muscle aches and headache and various other ones like stomach and abdominal pain. The two main ones to remember are orange fluids and it's hepatotoxic. The next drug in line is isoniazid. Isoniazid has an oral administration and it undergoes liver metabolism. But beware, slow acetylase are at risk. So if a patient is genetically predisposed to having low acetylation in their liver, do not prescribe them isoniazide. It's also a potent CYP inhibitor, unlike rifampicin, which is a potent CYP inducer. Isoniazide works by working in the bacterial cell. So isoniazide gets converted into isotonic acid, which then blocks mycolic acid. So if you have a question of how isoniazide works, think mycolic acid. And the enzyme CAT-G is very important to remember in this case. The adverse reactions include peripheral neuropathy, so, but it can be avoided if administered alongside peroxidin. So if when given with vitamin B6, the peripheral neuropathy gets worse, but when administered with peroxidine, you can uh, decrease the effects of peripheral neuropathy caused by isoniazide. It also leads to seizures and CNS effects, liver enzymes rising, metabolic acidosis, causes lupus, and hepatotoxic effects by showing our hepatotoxic liver. So isoniazide possesses a, quite a bit of adverse reactions. Now, pyrazinamide is also a drug used against anti-tuberculosis. Now the mechanism is not clearly understood and I'm about to explain it but if you don't understand pause the video and try to understand the diagram. So pyrazinamide is a prodrug and it becomes active once it gets inside the tubercle of the lung. So this is a granulomous tubercle inside the lung and once it gets active, what it does is it causes flow of H plus ions. And that when there's loads of H plus ions accumulated within the cell, that can cause acidification of the cytoplasm plasma leading to disruption of the membrane leading to cell death. Hopefully you understood that. Now, the main thing you need to understand is the adverse reactions. It is mildly hepatotoxic, but not as much as rifampicin and isoniazide. So pyrazinamide causes hyperuricemia, gout attack, and uric acid crystals in the urine. So the main thing to remember is hyperuricemia, gout attack, and hyperacid uricemia by showing this image. Now, last but not least, we have ethambutanol. Ethambutanol works by blocking cell wall synthesis by blocking the enzyme carbonyl transferase. The adverse reactions are optic neuritis, loss of visual acuity, especially red and green colors are not so, they can't, the patients cannot differentiate between red and green. It's also non-hepatotoxic, so this is the only anti-tuberculosis drug which is non-hepatotoxic. So remember, rifampicin, orange, think orange fluids, hepatotoxic, isoniazide, peripheral neuropathy, and hepatotoxic, pyrazinamide, think hyperuricemia, uric acid crystals, but still hepatotoxic, but as not, not as much. Ethambutanol, it is not hepatotoxic, but it causes optic neuritis and loss of visual.